Hey guys, I'm Elena here with The Better Fit and today we're going to be talking about folding sports bras. We're gonna go over how to fold a couple different types of sports bras and then we'll cover at the end a few tips on what not to do when you're folding these types of bras. Now, before we get started, please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so here we have a non-padded sports bra. This is the first type of bra we're going to go through for folding. Uh, there are differences when you're doing a padded versus a non-padded sports bra. So that's why I wanna show you how to do each type. So here again, we have the non-padded. Basically, that means that there are no pads in the sports bra at all. Um, these are really, really simple to fold. What you're first going to do is with the straps, ideally you want to fold them down into the main area of the sports bra. Um, and because of that, you want the back of the bra to be facing you. So I'm going to take the straps and basically fold them down. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to bring them all the way down to the bottom. I kind of like to do it just to where um, it hits kind of the top part of the sports bra. And as you fold it, try to keep the straps as flat as possible because that will minimize the amount of space the sports bra is taking up in your drawers, your closet, etc. So here we go, step one, you fold the straps down. Now you're going to take each side and fold it basically to the center. So you're folding it about a third of the way in. So I did one side and now I'm going to do the other. With this, you could fold it halfway. If you really wanted to, you could even bring it over and kind of fold it even tighter, depending on your preference there. So once you have this, the last step you're going to do is now fold it in half. So I'm going to go from the top and bring the top down to the bottom part of the sports bra. So I'm going to keep everything together and fold it just like that. So now you can see we have this nice little rectangle of a sports bra. From here, if I was putting it in a drawer, I might kind of stack it like this and I could put multiple sports bras in a row, making it really easy too for me to just grab one when I'm ready to go and use it. So that's how you do non-padded sports bras. Okay, so now we have a padded sports bra. And if it's padded, it means that inside there are pads. Now, some, you might have like a molded cup, which is going to be a more structured type of padding. This is just kind of like those loose pads that probably always fall out in the wash. Um, I know that always happens to me. I end up losing half of them, but uh, there are a few different types of pads. Regardless, you can follow the this kind of um, structure for all of those. So again, we're going to do the same first step that we did for non-padded sports bras. And that's where we're going to take the straps and fold them down into uh, the chest area of the bra. So again, I'm just kind of folding them in so that I'm basically left with a rectangle. Rectangles are a lot easier to fold and compress than the weird shape of a normal sports bra. So now that we're here, Instead of thirding the sports bra like we did with the non-padded, we only want to fold it in half. And this is because we don't want to mess up the structure of the padding. If we fold it in thirds, it can end up creasing the, the padding and create awkward lines and it might like permanently keep creases in it. So you're just going to fold it in half just like this. And really, this is where you can stop. Now, you know, if you want it to be smaller, a couple things you can do is if there's no padding in the bottom of the sports bra, you could bring that up like this and then fold it in half. And so that makes it a little bit smaller. So that's basically how you fold padded sports bras. And from here, I could stack it like this um, in, again, a drawer and you'd be good to go. Okay. And here we have another padded sports bra. The reason I wanted to show you this one is because these straps are a lot uh, looser. They're way less structured than the other two sports bras. So with this one here, again, we want to kind of like tuck these straps in as best possible. So I'm just going to tuck them underneath the, the back portion of the sports bra to really 
slide them in. If you wanted to get even tighter, you could tighten the bra straps uh, themselves. Personally, I don't like doing that because then when I go to put the sports bra on, I have to readjust the straps every time. Um, and it just, you know, is one extra step that I just don't think is really necessary. So I like to just keep them as is and tuck them, fold them in. And again, because this is a padded sports bra, I'm just going to fold it in half right like this. And really you'd be good to go. Again, if you wanted to try to tuck it in more, you could, but in this case, I think keeping it like this is okay. So there you go. That's how you fold padded and non-padded sports bras. Really quickly, let's talk about a couple of things to avoid when you're folding your sports bras. First thing is you want to avoid folding or creasing the actual padding. So again, this bra has padding in it. If I were to fold the sports bra in thirds like this and then fold it again, you can see now I've creased the padding and again, that could just permanently leave that crease in. Uh, the pads, which annoy some people, it also just kind of messes with the, the overall structure of the sports bra. So try to avoid that if you can. Uh, the second thing to avoid is just crunching it up and tossing it into your drawer. Um, I'll be honest, if I'm lazy and I'm just putting laundry away quickly, I do that. Uh, but it is best to, you know, try to fold them. They're going to fit nicer in the drawer. It makes it easier to pull one out when you're ready to use it. The final thing to avoid is leaving the straps unfolded. So if we were to just leave these straps out and then fold like this, it might not seem like a big deal, but if you have five or six of these in your drawer, all of a sudden these straps get tangled with other straps. And as you go to pull one out, you end up pulling out three because they're all intertwined. So again, just to you know keep it organized, it's best to tuck them in, even if you just quickly tuck them like this and then fold. So there you have it, uh, some tips for what to avoid when you're folding uh, these bras. Thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more education and content on bra tips and tricks.